Oh. Oh, the. Oh. Oh, the smell of the woods. Oh, it's gorgeous. A day like today as well, everything's been warmed up. And now it's getting cold again. Where are we? I think we're in the mid 55s, 57. Temperature started to drop, sun's hitting the uh, horizon. Oh. I know the air's got that rich moisture lead and greenness in these uh, in this forest. Love it. How to grow cannabis? Familiarize yourself with the smell like this. Get used to the smell of rich soil. Get, get used to the smell of dark, healthy, and new, fresh green growth out in the woods. Smell that shit. Smell it. So a lot of the things that are there growing in the woods are what you want to be growing in your uh, pots. You want that huge, huge, uh, you want that huge element of biodiversity. If you're thinking about putting in nutrients and things first thing you want to be thinking about is uh, how is the plant going to absorb any of that food how is it going to have a, uh, a relationship with that food and that has to be done microbially you can't you can't force feed a plant if you force feed a plant you have to stick to force feeding that plant What you're doing instead is just trying to help it develop as strong a uh, root system and as healthy uh, above uh, surface system. I like to use an approach that, besides the lighting, you know, and the pots, but an approach in itself that would not be, hopefully, too out of place in a society pre steel pre the sun of light fascination for the last 2000 years we've all been farmers we've all been connected to the land in our blood we all have that same heritage yet yeah, maybe some places uh, people fish more and some places people forage more and but the point is we be used to having a relationship with the whole system we're used to having a relationship and a relationship requires communication now I'm not sure what's easier is it if it's easier for us to listen to the plant or it's easier for the plant to listen to us but I'm pretty sure that uh, Look at these guys, just get this girl. <laughs> you guys are creeping so hard, it's awesome. <laughs> I was, I'd do the same thing. I was doing the same thing. Wow, those guys were right in that fucking girl's, uh, girl's jacks. They were uh, passing comments and stuff. Nice. Woo, no hands. So yeah, a relationship. A relationship requires communication. So, what am I communicating to the plant, and what's the plant communicating to me? If I'm uh, training it and topping it and force feeding it, if I'm breeding it to uh, overemphasize these traits of uh, yield and particular terpenes, etc., then um, I'm no steward of that plant, am I? If I'm not, then uh, that's fine. You can go ahead and have a fantastic relationship with the plant. You can produce fantastic cannabis. You, you don't have to have a, a two-way relationship with the plant. You don't have to be trying to figure out and intuit what the plant wants and what you want and what will be good and what will be bad and all that stuff. Do, 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 do. Oh.
Oh.